starting the vlogs because I sometimes don't know what I'm going to say and when I try to formulate in my head what I'm going to say it doesn't come out what I want. Anyway, day off today as usual. Um, got the vlog going. It's exporting now. It's at 15% so I think I'll be uploading it pretty soon. I woke up pretty early. I did a little bit of editing but not this editing. I did some more okay drama time. Um, I realize that it takes me a lot longer to edit the OK Drama Time videos because I have to add subtitles and that takes a lot of time because I want them to, you know, be right. <laughs> Last thing I want to do is put all that work in and have the set of titles be wrong, so I don't want that. So that's why it takes me a lot longer. But yeah, I got that going and then I started editing my vlog for the week and then I made some food. I made some rice and I made some... Uh, what did I eat with it? I made some oh, little mini sausages and I had some eggs. That's what I had. Um, once again, this week I'm going to try something new. <laughs> You're probably wondering, James, you do something new every single week. Hey, you're going to keep things exciting, right? Uh, one thing I'm going to try doing this week, and hopefully it does work out because it does sound like something that will be good for me, is on my days off, like today for example, majority of the time I am home on my days off because, frankly, most of my friends are busy on the weekdays or just busy in general and I'm busy on weekends so on my days off I'm usually home or I have something like in the middle of the day to do but then I'm usually home for dinner so what I want to start doing is if I am home and it is my day off and I don't and I have the time what I'm gonna do is use that time to cook extra food to bring for lunch the next day at work because I find that I am spending lots of money on buying food at work because I don't have food prepared at home. And since I have time to do it on my days off, like today I don't have nothing going on, I should make the effort to cook extra. So I'm going to start doing that. So which means two out of the five days I have work in the week, I'm going to be able to save money because I would have packed a lunch. And then the other three days, I'm just going to buy food. So again, that's another way for me to save some money. I find that forcing you to save money by doing things out of the ordinary that's not part of your routine or part of what you do normally, it, it's actually quite difficult. <laughs> but if you save money by doing things more simple, like what I'm going to do with cooking food at home, it's something I'm going to do anyway and it's something I enjoy so I can actually save money and it's easier to do. That's what motivates me to save money. I'm pretty sure there's other ways to do it that are more efficient. Or, and I can save more money, but am I going to see it through? 50% of the time, I might not because, you know, it's hard to do or it's just, oh, it's not me, I'm not going to do it. So I can just safely say I can just cook lunch every day to bring, but that's unrealistic for me because I don't always have groceries at home. And if I get annoyed and tired, I might not, you know, just screw it, I'm not doing it this week, right? So by doing it this way, cooking on my days off to make sure I have lunch for two other days, that's more of a easier way to obtain my goal. Hard to explain. I, th I hope you guys know what I mean, but yes, I can save more money by cooking all the days, but it's not realistic for me to cook every day because I might not have the time, I might not have the energy. That's not realistic for me. If I keep things more realistic, I am more likely to be able to pull it off. Like, for example, as I said, for me spending money on um, buying K-pop stuff and K-drama stuff and like buying little things for me like cameras or little, you know, video games or something, whatever. If I just purposely set money aside altogether to use at the end after my paychecks, like I said $200 before, to use for going out, eating out and all that and buying stuff, it's going to be very hard for me to save money because then 
I don't have a set amount. And because I decide to set an amount like 50 bucks around every month, I can save that up to buy things I want instead of always overspending for what I have remaining or what I think. So setting those kind of little budgets and little boundaries to myself is a way for me, me, specifically me, to be able to save money. It might not work for everybody, but for me, it works very well. Plus, again, me saving money on the side of $50 per month and being able to buy something is like rewarding myself for hard work. Because if I just, you know, don't have that set aside and I'm always spending money and working very hard to pay off bills and stuff, I'm not going to feel energized and motivated to work. <laughs> It's, it's silly, it's a little, little thing, but because I'm setting money aside and I'm buying something to treat myself, it's highly motivating, but at the same time, I'm not overspending because it's already the money I already have. I know it's weird. <laughs> Maybe it's me, but it works. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to probably just take it easy for the rest of the day. Um, I already vacuumed for the day. Um, I don't think I have anything else going on. I was supposed to meet a friend to go to like grab a bubble tea or something. But um, he canceled on me last minute because something came up. It's okay, because he was already telling me that something might be happening, so that's totally fine. I'll probably see him tomorrow. And the best part about tomorrow is no early morning meeting. But I still have to wake up early because I have to get to work at 9, but not 8, so it's an extra hour of sleep. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go play some video games. Okay, so the first lunch I'm preparing for work tomorrow is going to be... I made some rice earlier for my lunch, so I saved some of that. That's ready to go. I just got to put some in it. And then after I ate my lunch, I marinated some chicken for a few hours, so that's ready to go. So that all I need to do right now is just fry it up. And I have some protein to go with the rice. I'll probably fry up an egg too, but yeah. Uh, if you're wondering, it's not blood, it's <laughs> the marinade. So the marinade I have going is um, garlic salt, black pepper, and a bit of oil. And then I use some uh, barbecue, Chinese barbecue sauce. That's why it's the red color. <laughs> it's the same barbecue sauce they put on the pork to make that barbecue pork. Because it smells really good. So I'm going to fry that up. But I think I need to fry it. I need water fried peppers. We'll do that first. <laughs> Day off today, uh, I went out to have lunch with my dad and my sister, it was really good. Um, food was just okay, it was nothing too woo about. And then I stopped by buy some groceries, as you saw. <laughs> I, I, I didn't show, I can't talk. You didn't see all my groceries because I had to rush to put in the um, pork and the other meats because they're like, I didn't get it in because um, right afterwards I went to Aberdeen and went to Art Box <laughs> with my sister. So I wasn't coming home right away and you know, I'd refrigerate things right away. Yeah, so you can guess that I bought a K-pop album. <laughs> I'll show you guys what I bought later. I'm gonna do another opening as always. And then at TNT, the um, Pockies all were on sale. So I got the strawberry one here, and then the chocolate one. And then I picked this one up. I didn't buy a pack of it, big pack like this, because I don't know if I like it, but I always like cookies and cream. But I'll try that, I haven't seen it before, so I'm gonna, grab it. I'm gonna try that. And then this thing I always really like, it's always on sale. 
Um, there's so many flavors of this, but I always like double chocolate. I should show you guys the other flavor next time. But yeah, I bought two of them. This is the deal on the two. You're probably wondering, James, do you have time to get all these snacks? Do you have a time limit? Yes, I do have a time limit of <laughs> eight hours, but in between I can snack, right? <laughs> um, this morning when I woke up, I already did a bunch of chores. I just gotta do a vacuum real quick, and then I am good. I'm just gonna take the rest of the day to relax. I gotta do dishes, but I'm gonna wait till I cook dinner and then do a big load of dishes. Not do dishes twice. Because don't forget, day off today, which means tomorrow when I go to work, I'm supposed to make lunch. Not buy it. So I do have a rough idea what I'm gonna make tonight, so we're good. But yeah. <laughs> you guys are gonna judge me so hard later for what I actually did buy at our box. I'll show you guys later. <laughs> Meal prep time for tomorrow's lunch and I guess for tonight's dinner. I got some center cut pork loin here. What I'm gonna do is I'm quickly gonna pat it down, wash it, pat it down, and then I'm gonna marinate in some. I don't know, salt, pepper, and maybe the same thing I use for the chicken thighs. The thing is, I do have to make sure the marinade is good because with pork loin, it does dry out a lot faster. And since I'm microwaving it, it's definitely going to be dry. So I'm going to do my best to make sure the marinade is going to be keeping it moist. That's going to be the struggle. I don't want to make rice, well, mainly because... I'm kind of out of rice, <laughs> so I'm just going to have the pork chop on its own. Like, tonight I could have make some ramen to go with it, but for tomorrow lunch, I'm just going to have the pork chop on its own, I guess. Like, you know, I don't have to eat a full, full meal tomorrow, right? So I'm going to do that right now. Oh my god, this tassi joint is so sticky. It's literally just sticking to my hands. And there we have lunch for tomorrow. Sadly, no rice because I don't have any rice, but it's okay. I also fried up an egg over easy. Um, will I be super full? No. What, will, my, will my appetite be appeased? Yes, it will, and that's the goal. <laughs> I can always eat more when I come home tomorrow, which would be the case because tomorrow I'm working in the afternoon, so yeah, I'm probably home at night. So I'll, I'll eat another meal when I get home, but this should be fine enough. I'll probably pick up a snack and work anyway, like, like a chocolate bar or something, and that'll be fine. I might not even need it because it's a lot of... It's two, two pork chops, and then the fried egg. I'm pretty sure I'm good. Rice would have made sure for sure, but I'm pretty sure it's enough. And then right now I'm just frying one more egg to go with my little, little pork chop there. And I'm probably just gonna make toast, because my bread's gonna go off soon, so I should eat that. <laughs> Completely forgot, I bought the cake album today. <laughs> Sorry, I was busy doing the dishes, and I was playing Overwatch with Scott and Takumi that I completely forgot. I'm gonna quickly do it because it's not a new album, it's the same one that you guys seen before. It's the black one, BTS, the love yourself one, but the black and the letter R. Uh, I was gonna buy a second one, but nothing really caught my eye at our box. Like, our box carries a lot of the uh, recent albums and some of the older ones, but the older ones, once they run out of stock, I'm pretty sure they don't really restock it. So, if I want any older ones, that's, I'm going to have to order it online. But, <laughs> one thing I did do <laughs> was pre-order something. <laughs> so, you know I just finished watching 100 Days My Prince. 
and Dio has always been my buys in XO, and after watching Hunter James Prince, he has shot up my Korean actor list like crazy, and since uh, Kim Sun Ho had some of the scandal issues, he was my number two, but Dio was number three, so Dio could possibly get bumped up because of the controversy with Kim Sun Ho, but regardless of what's happening with poor Kim Sun Ho, I'm gonna really not pay too much attention because I don't know what's true and what's not. But anyway, I'm not going to get into that, but I pre-ordered Dio's uh, album. It came out a while ago, in July, I think, but it's been out of stock. So I'm like, you know what? The, guy, the lady at Arbox was like, you can pre-order it, we'll call you. So I did that. So I'll hopefully get that album. <laughs> DVD special box set of 100 Days My Prince. This one's actually quite rare. Not as rare as my um, Weightlifting Fairy one, because that one's older. Older they are, the harder it is to find it. That's why as soon as I found it, I got it. But this beauty here is also getting very rare. It's about, the drama's three years old. This came out in 2019. I learned the pattern when it comes to these box sets that they don't come out the same year the drama came out. It comes out way after, so you really have to pay attention. Um, I just got this DVD. Um, I got this for pretty cheap. Well, I didn't buy it. My friend got it for me, but he got it for very cheap. Um, if you look on websites to order from here, from overseas, and you don't live in Korea, they go for about... 400 to 600 dollars <laughs> and this is just a dvd version the blu-ray version goes for almost 800 bucks these things are rare now so i would love to get the blu-ray down the line we'll have to see um i was gonna open it and show you guys what's inside because i'm dying to know what's inside too but i already did a k-pop album opening this week and i feel like i shouldn't overload my vlogs of that kind of stuff because i feel like i should be <laughs> keep focused on more on me and then these little things we get little surprises in the vlogs <laughs> so maybe i'll open this monday next week because right now i'm actually quite tired anyway and i'm pretty busy i want to be able to open it and enjoy the time and take my time with it so i'm not going to open it for myself either so we're going to wait on this <laughs> How are you guys doing? Um, today, work was actually not as boring as it usually is. We got kind of busy. I'm really tired right now. Um, I came home. Actually, no. After work, I went to get some groceries. I, as you saw, um, I got a bit of proteins. I got some pork, and then I got some salmon. And then my mom got me the frozen rack of lamb. I know it sounds bougie, but it's not. It was 10 bucks for the whole rack, and it's already pre-marinated and everything. All you really need to do is just get a pan and then put it in the oven for about 25 minutes and you have food. Nice and quick. 
all you gotta do is make a side dish to go with it, like mashed potatoes or rice, and you have a meal. So it's very handy and not too expensive. Whether or not it's top quality or not, I don't think it matters because it tastes good regardless. And then I got some rice. I also, I share a bag of rice with my mom because she doesn't eat a lot and I live alone. So there's no point for me to buy a bag and she buy a bag because it's, we're not going to eat it fast enough. So we just split a bag. So it's actually really good. But yeah, simple day. And then this morning, I woke up slightly earlier than when I was supposed to go to work because the Dio album that I pre-ordered or ordered so that I could get came earlier than expected because when I ordered it, was it Thursday, the lady there was like, oh, you'll probably get it next week or even later. And I'm like, oh, no, that's not a problem. No rush to get it. And then literally the next day I get a text from the store saying, hey, it's here. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> but yeah, I got it. I picked it up today. It's this mini album, so it's not a full album, so that's why it's not like a case like the other K-pop albums I have, but the photo book is much cooler. So basically the album itself is in the photo book. But yeah, no, I'm obsessed with Dio right now because of 100 Days on Prince. And as I mentioned before, he was always my bias in EXO. But yeah, this photo book's really, really nice more efforts put into it, I guess, when it comes to solo artists, because they have to make it look good, because it's only one artist, right? So I'm going to quickly open it. I know I wasn't going to open two things. I know I'm not going to open the 100 Days of My Prince uh, DVD uh, special box set. I'll probably open it next week. Of course, we have the CD. It comes in this cute little flower sleeve. Really cool. And then there's this weird thing. It's nothing to do. I think it's just teaching you how to use this app or something to win something in Korea, but it doesn't really apply to me, right? Because I live here. And then a photo card. In the back. I'm glad I have another one coming that I ordered myself from a website online, so I'm making a different photo card. I'm pretty sure the photo book won't be different because, you know, it's not like BTS or whatever. And then inside... The biggest difference between me ordering from the store and the ordering from the website is that I get a poster from the store. I don't get a poster from my um, online one that I ordered. It stated that. I don't know why. So here's the poster. I don't want to damage it. Pretty cool. Keep it nice. Whether or not, I'm probably going to put it up, but I'm not going to just put it up with tape. I'm probably going to frame it. I've learned that, yes, framing posters is a lot more work and more expensive, but in the long run, the poster lasts longer. The color doesn't fade. That's one thing I've noticed when I was growing up, is that when you hang posters on the wall like this, it looks nice and all, but the color fades in time. So if I frame it, then the color will last longer. The difficult part is actually finding the correct size for the poster, but, you know, I'll come. And then, finally, the photo book. It is really nice. Mm -hmm.